Hold on. All right, Jeff. Finally took Noble for a spin. Yeah, it's uh, it's nearly done. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a polish. Not, not motivated at all. No. No. What's the plan then, bud? Well, I've got to take the body off. Yeah. And to take the body off, I've got to take stuff off the front. But the windscreen's out. Yep. I genuinely, I genuinely put in the comments below where I should start. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know what that is. What's that bit? I don't know. What's that cable for? Cable. Ah, oh, gas pedal. Yeah, get rid of that. Won't be needing that. No, won't be needing that. Right, I think, mate, I'm just going to stand here and unbolt stuff. Where's your tool? Let's get some tools. Davla, it starts again. It does. So I'm just going to start unbolting stuff, mate. Make a pile of things. So I'm just trying to get the ball joint off the hub. It's going. It's going. There we go. There we go. Like a so. But engine wise then, we're gonna look at a bit of that as well. Uh, yeah, 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 we can do. Yeah, we've got a, um, uh, we can have a look at a cylinder entry one. We do. Let's see if we get 22. So obviously we get some, um, I'm sure we get some comments about when this was last worked on? Uh, a million years ago. <laughs> it wasn't rusty when we started this restoration. <laughs> well, it wasn't supposed to be a restoration, was it? Let's no. be honest. Chuck a clamshell on it. And, and off we go. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> but putting it on this dolly has yeah. helped. It's made a big difference. I mean, let's look at that now. Do a quick spin round of the project so far. We said windscreen out. There we go. So we can do the full 360 view now. You can see even more of the rust in all its. Uh, in all its glory. Indeed. Right, so that's like inside some sort of box section. So where do I get that out of there? Anything that's bolted to the body. <laughs> no, I want to try and get. I want to try and get fuel tanks out. Okay. Is there any fuel in it? That's the question. Uh, I've got the hose sat down, yeah. and it doesn't seem to be. But you can see it here. Look where the fuel neck is. Yeah. Yeah. So the fuel pump controller and everything I've got. I think I'm going to have to make the tank shorter. Yeah. So I can fit it. So I can fit everything in above it. Yeah. Um, so I imagine that's going to be the one challenge I've got. Custom tank. Is yeah, either a custom tank or the tank we've got. Modify it. Yep. Wow. Sorry. Get a get a tank that's sort of that size and modify it. Yeah. There she goes. Wow. We're all ready creating quite a nice pile of 
patina on the floor. Rusty stuff, Dabbler. Is it rusty? All right. Um, I'm not going to reuse that breather, so. So has anybody come forward to uh, take up your very kind offer of noble bits so far? No, nobody. There we go. I don't know whether that says anything or not. <laughs> no more. Nobody wants to buy my things, Dabla. <laughs> this is the kind of car in this period that would have had like a Clifford concept. Yeah, that's really whatever. Funny you say that. Here you go, it's hanging out the floor. Ah, there we go. That's the alarm. You stand next to one of those Cliffords at a car show and it'll chirp. Like a yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you get about five different sirens. They were rubbish. Have you got the key? Did you get the keys? What was the what was the fob on the keys? Let's have a look. Auto watch. Free and That is very, very seized. SciTech fuel filter. Ooh, what a dream. Filter's out. Here's the, uh, the new. File of parts. Again, uh, if I take that fuel hose off, I should yeah. be able to drop the tank. Oh, it's moving. Out of the bottom. Didn't say so. Yep. The rust was that bad, I didn't have to use a spanner on the other end of the bolt to undo that nut. <laughs> <laughs> Oosh! Dabla! Bit more rust on the floor. She is out, and that nut is really hot. How reckon do we rusty it is? How rusty do you reckon it is under this frame? I like it's mint under there. It's like garden trellis, really? this is. <laughs> a bush. Look at it. Oh, oh come on. What's it we keep saying? Can't get any worse. That's not fun. Oh my goodness. Good news is, I'm a very positive person. <laughs> yes.
It's all just an opportunity to flourish, Davla. Isn't it? Yep. This is the worst car I've ever bought. <laughs> in case anybody was uh, in any doubt as to your feelings on this. Yeah, yeah, and I bought an R6, it was snapped in half. I bought an X, uh, X Super Sport bike years back that was snapped in half. Literally in half. Yeah, 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 wow. yeah. And it was not as bad as this. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Can I do something else to cheer me up? Yes. What should we do? Go to the pub. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so that's bent. I don't know how thin that's going to be. I don't know how thin that's going to be. It's worrying. It does feel pretty solid to be fair, but I think that is going to be wafer thin. Yeah. There might be some structural issues. Mm. The rest of it's straight. That's got to come off. They're the two rear clam mounts, they're junk. These all look pretty straight, they've just been hammerated. And that's straight. So it's how much of that is I can say or how bad it is, yeah. Yeah. Look. Oh, wow. Lucky's probably not a word we use with this project. So. What we'll do is we'll wrap mild steel in a quilt. <laughs> it gets wet. Yep, perfect. And put it by. It's going to drain all the moisture away, that, perfectly. Yeah. Shall we pause for reflection? Yeah. So, we've paused. We have. What are your thoughts? Um, Without can't swearing say too much. them on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> we've only got so many bleeps we can yeah, use. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the worst of the rust. Here and here. Obviously, we know the front's damaged. I'm a bit worried about how thin it's going to go. Matt's surprisingly optimistic. Yeah, I reckon it'll clean up well. Um, we know we've got to do the bottom section, it's just whether then I've got to make the top. Yep. Uh, we, we know we've got to swap the front, so that was, that's damage though, not rust. It's just a case of just keep stripping, just keep stripping, just keep stripping. You need to get to that tipping point where you can kind of see yeah. light at the end of the tunnel, and we're not there yet. Mm. Nope. Uh, Carl's dad's going to go and pick up another engine for me tomorrow or another bottom end because right. it's got um, Cosworth pistons in it. They are used, but I can't find pistons. So providing they're in good nick, we'll use those pistons. I'll re-ring it. Uh, if the bottom end is in a better nick than mine, then we'll use that block because the pistons have worn to that block. Yep. Uh, so Carl's dad's going to pick that up for me tomorrow because um, he's going to uh, go and pick up a V10 block for me as well that I've had some work done on. So yeah, it's just like that. It's out of whack. That's twisted. You see him? Mm. Just is like the, what was that? Two two odd hours, and I got two bottom arms off, and a a huge pile of rust on the floor. Yeah. It is the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Which is down there, look. Hang on, let's have a look at two hours work, and we've got. I don't know whether that was a factory thing or not that wrapping if that's a factory thing and you own a noble take it off if it's not don't do it <laughs> don't don't do it just don't no i don't think it is factory that looked like someone had put some heat yeah. shielding over that and then that's just hold the moisture in there oh man yeah don't do it if worse comes to worse though this can be cut out and replaced. yeah it's it's how much you kind of because I wouldn't want to go outside these rails, so you'd have to sort of yeah. cut that out. In. 
yeah all right that you can see that's boxed on there that's fine it's just gonna have to go away and get dipped I strip it it's gonna have to go away get dipped and then we see where we are dipped and stripped yeah see what comes back yeah and then just start putting it back together but it's gonna be light when it's done all this rust I'm getting rid of <laughs> um, yeah okay so so next plan of attack I think we'd go and strip cylinder edge we let's do, go, do, go. yeah let's see if it's <laughs> see what other problems we can find let's do it head 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 check in a hot wash first to get the worst of it off then we can have a chat lovely Hola. should we do something fun for a change let's try yeah i know right what I'm going to do is, we're literally just going to strip this head. So we'll see, we'll take it apart, we'll take some measurements and we'll go from there. So it's not it's clean enough, it is pretty ropey, but I haven't stripped it. So at least we'll give you an indication of what's what. So we have got uh, four tappets, hydraulic lifters. Everything's in place, I haven't taken the valves out. So we're just going to sit the lifters in all right, I'll replace these when I rebuild the engine. I'm going to sit the rollers on. Yeah. And what I want to try and do now is work out what a roller ratio is. So that's it. Okay. Okay. So put one on inlet, one on exhaust. Like so. If we take the cams, so this is how you measure base. Oops, sorry, mate, let me sit that up there. This is how you measure base circle. All right. So we have got that's in that. Yeah, and that's exhaust. So. The easiest way to measure base circle. Get your vernier. All right, if you come this way, mate. So you can obviously see you got a lobe, right? Mm -hmm. So that's your lift. Your base circle is the diameter of the base circle of the cam, and then obviously you've got a lobe on top. So if we go like that, yeah? Yep. Just call it 38 mil base circle, right? 37.99. We'll double check the exhaust as well. They should, in theory, nine times out of ten, they're the same. Yeah. 38.0. Okay. Yep. There's a little bit. 38.1. Just go 38.0 on both. Steady, sweetheart. So, inlet, exhaust, uh, base circle, 38.0 mil. Lift, oh, I can't use one lift, right? So what's our lift? So now, We know that's 38.0, right? Yeah. So we're gonna turn around now. 42 point, 42.8, did you get that? Yep, 42.8. 42.8. 42.8. Exhaust. Forty two point eight. So we're not setting a we're not setting a world on fire, they're both exactly the same in that exhaust, right? Yeah, so at the cam uh, what should we call that? Let's we call it we call it lobe. Yeah, and we call that lift. 
still kind of stout. So we got 4.8 on both, right? Yep. Right. So now, how does that affect how much the valve opens? Does that make sense? So yeah. it's not going to open 4.8 mil. So the roller rocker is going to be a multiplier. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. So what we do is. Do it opposite so it can't clash. Sit cam in. Set uh, so we would go that's in that. So we go one, two, three, four. So we'll put one, make sure numbers are all the right way. My theory is now, what I want to try and do, is clamp these down, right? Yeah. We'll try and put a dial gauge on the valve and then we'll turn it from base circle to peak lift and see what measurement we get. Tis my plan. So it's a plan. How that plan works, God only knows. <laughs> well, it is a noble, after all. It's more whether I can hold the bloody head on a bench straight. So, have you inspected this fully so far? Uh, this is the damaged head, so this right. is the one that's... I haven't got the bottom end stripped yet. Yeah. This is the one that has... Um, had something go through uh, cylinder two, or cylinder by whichever way you are inclined. So this was another lovely giving surprise. Yeah, yeah, we opened the engine up and found that um, we had damage. So. so I popped the lifters in, right? I don't know whether you can see, this is what we're, this is what we're sort of looking at. If you look at that exhaust valve. Yeah. Right, and I'm just gonna turn the cam. You see it? You see it moving? Do you want a light? Oops. There we go. Should be, yeah. You see it moving? Yeah. All right. First thing that jumps out, it's actually it's not moving straight. Right. So we're starting to climb down off the valve seat. Mm -hmm. So I reckon when we take this apart, either the valve will be bent. They'll have a little nick in it. Yeah. Or what's more likely has happened is the guide's worn. You see, it's, yeah, as yeah. it sits back on the seat. Tell you what, if I do. See it? Yeah. It's got it. So it's not. It's not coming back nice. Yeah. It's also like binding up. It's not like pushing a cam away. It's like I can do that. And let go of the cam. It stays. Yeah, but watch now if I move the cam back. Does it move? Yeah. So it's not happy. No. Whereas the inlet's a little bit cleaner. Yeah, what I'm wondering now is whether I even go to the hassle of measuring roller rocker because I don't think I'm gonna get an accurate number. Yeah. If that valve stick in.
Right, we're going to need your camera capturing skills. Right, well, you're fucked. So, me. I'm zero. So, if you concentrate on the DTI, right, so we obviously now know what our max lift is at our lobe. Yeah. So, now, what is our max lift at our valve? So, I'm literally going to try and... Well, we're way beyond 4.8, aren't we? Just a tad. This might snap in a minute, so... 9... 9.1? We're coming down the other side now, aren't we? Right. So I saw a peak of, I'll go do that way because it's easier to push. Nine three. Nine three six. Yep. Would you average? Best of three. Nine three, nine three six, nine three seven. Right. Nah, didn't say so. Mm. Nine point three six divided by four point eight. Yeah. Can't spell today. So the rocker is multiplying the lift by one point nine five. Is it worth? Well, it's a number. It's better than nothing. Let's try it on your ghost. Worst case, it gives us garbage. Yep. It's all part of the process. All right. So we see what we get on the exhaust, shall we? Let's do it. Cat chat. Nine. Nine point two. Ow, that hurts. Obviously, there's a little bit of fluffiness in that number because we know. We've got um, one point nine one. Hang on. I reckon if we had better quality valve train in the exhaust side, yeah, our numbers would be better. But at least we kind of know where we are roughly. Yeah. Let me just get rid of this gauge. Strip these, strip these cams out. Let's pull the core plugs out and then I will we'll bolt it to the headstand and get the valve train out. Let's have a look at the valve train, see if we can see anything. One thing I have noticed though, if you come this side of it, Gav, if you look at the inlet port, the injector only sprays in one side. Right. So obviously two intake valves and the injector's only coming down to one. So.
dirty. The eights is. Do you reckon it's going to be clean behind these or? Nah, dirty. Dirty! Uh, I've seen worse. Can't get me screw up, I've seen worse. I think that is some kind of weird American size. Careful on the top look because it's the top of the cam lobes or top of the cam bridges. It's... Yeah. Where's well, had the head off before? Okay. Because you can see all the scouring marks where someone's like rubbed it with uh, sandpaper. I don't think it's been skimmed because that doesn't look. It would walk out here. Yeah. Is it big enough, dear boy? that tells me if I measured the other one now I want that distance to be the same yeah so that'll tell me if it's been skimmed or not but this is where something's been through it look can you see If you look at these two, look. They're lovely, lovely. Not a mark on them. Yeah, something's been through that. to its own this machine hasn't it? It's yeah a lot of it these. <coughs> Does a good job. Safety first. 
Indeed. You got a camera to protect you, so you're alright. Yeah. <laughs> Back to That went with a snappery doodle do. It did. So they are triple groove. Yeah? Yep. Triple your groove. Triple me groove. It's like Carl on a Saturday night. Parallel spring. Nothing fancy. Same kind of thing, nothing different. Triple groove. They look like they're the same. Yeah. Uh, what I haven't measured is installed height on the springs. Bugger. I have to do that on the other head. Uh, so normally you would measure installed height on the springs. Yep. Uh, and then free length, so you can work out what the installed height of the valve is. Yep. Right, so there you go. Spot the difference. What does that say to you? I can spot that one is certainly a little bit more. Uh, what's the word? Right. That one was it? So now, if I did that, Hang on. what are you noticing? That the clean section, the clean valve head, mm -hmm. is on the same as the injector. Right, okay. Yeah, and the dirty valve head is on the valve on the port that doesn't see any fuel. Yep. So that's what the engine's breathing in. All of that. Mm -hmm. Seat doesn't look too bad. Yeah, like if you look, can you see the clean part of the seat? Yeah. Doesn't look too bad, something's there. So there's like a little pock mark in the seat or in the valve that's stopping it sealing just in that area, can you see mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Something's going on with that valve. It's like walking down a guy. It's like walking down the seat. So whether well, that's because the guide's gone, that's got the same again. Can you see it started? Yeah, yeah. You getting issues there? Yeah, and this one we just got a really fuzzy seat. Mm -hmm. So it's not crisp, it's like all wavy where it's just starting to wear seat, as in it's not seating properly. So you, it's not clean, it's not like, like that one's super crisp, can you see it? Yeah. Whereas that other one, it's starting to get a little bit. Pretty good to be fair. Let's get these in. Is that what you're expecting or is that? Uh, these are exhaustively worse. You can already see that one's pretty bad. They're not a seat in the tool. Hey. None of them are seating, mate. There's a little bit on that one. Seat on that one's completely gone. A little bit on that one. Seat on that one's completely gone. Again, a little bit, and a little bit on that one. But if you look, can you see, like, there's nothing there. Yeah. That's where it's not seating. I mean, the sort of the stem is mental. So yeah, the exhausts are worse. You see these polished areas? Yeah. 
and B are the guides. So what we'll do is now is we'll flip the head over and we'll see how much play we've got on the guides. Not good, mate. No, not good, but then... Not, not sort of unexpected, but there yeah. you go. You see? Just yeah. no, nothing clean at all. I mean, there's a little tiny clean bit there, but that is just hammered. Yeah. Do we know the mileage of this? Uh, I think it's 60 or no, I can check on MOTs. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit better, look. Can you see? Well, there's nothing on that one, look. Mm. There's no seat there at all. You see? Yep. Yeah. Very clean on the inlet, but. Right, so. Let's take mm. Mm, as a four. A bit there, but you could argue that's as much like that's as much valve as it is guide, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Come on in. Yeah, they're bad. You can hear it cling, cling, cling. Yep. Yeah, they're pretty bad. You can see that. It's coming out this way. Ooh. Wobbly, wobbly. Hmm. Yep. Mm. So new guides, new valves. Uh, we've got upgraded springs on them. Oh, I think, mate. Um, I think I want to put it through. Should we go and see what it looks like for the aqua blaster? Go on, do it. Come on in. Great. Should we see how this cleans up, mate? Go on, let's do it. You see it. Yeah. See it? Can you see the before and after? Hang on. Come, Come on, focus. There we go. I'm on it. Yeah. Look at that. Hey. Oh my goodness. That's mental, isn't it? Yeah. That's been in there, what, a couple of minutes? Seconds, yeah. Nothing. It's the Echo Blaster! Moment of truth. Considering that was only a couple of minutes. That is insane. Yeah. Like there's still some bits stuck in grooves. Yeah. Look at that. That is mental. There's officially now the best part of the Noble. It's the cleanest part of the Noble. The cleanest part of the Noble, yeah. Mad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, a few little bits like in there. Yeah. But again, that wasn't in there long, was it? So. No, 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 that's me kind of rushing it. Yeah. That, to think that's what it started life as. That's ridiculous. It's good, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, so, I have a smile on my face now. You see, now you've had... A bit of fun. You've got involved in some engine bits. Yeah, yeah, And that's really kindled your interest with it. Yeah. Right honest. then. Let's get the engine done. I could do the engine bit, I just need someone to do the roughly bit. So, if you've got any questions, write them in the comments below and we'll answer them. If you've got any bright ideas on what to do with that, write them in the comments below. Smash the buttons and enjoy my misery. Lovely. And we'll see you on the next one. See you later. See you later.